rescue in place tonight to protect property and prevent widespread damage in Roxboro. This was breaking news at 6 after the city council suddenly announced the plan. And once people found out about the curfew, the next question was, why? CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live tonight getting answers about what led to that decision. Maggie. The city has not said why. I asked the police chief tonight if they were expecting protests. He said simply they were monitoring the situation, but there have been a lot of law enforcement here. You can see some of their vehicles still behind me. I spoke to the brother of a man who was killed last week in an officer-involved shooting, and he said this curfew is hurtful to his family. The streets were very quiet in downtown Roxborough tonight. All you could see were some law enforcement vehicles circling the area. The family of David Brooks Jr. says the curfew is interfering with the family's grieving process. Brooks was killed in an officer-involved shooting last week. Police say they found a sawed-off shotgun at the scene. His brother said the family feels they can't even mourn due to this curfew. The protection came from the Black Panther Party. That was in place per my brother due to his sovereignty. The United States of America. He had that in place because he had been harassed numerous of times, and we just wanted to stop. I want them to know that I am not threatening. I embrace the police department because I pay my taxes here. My family pay their taxes here. The black community pay their taxes here. We need protection from the police officers, not harassment. And as you heard, he said he felt he had to call in protection from the outside, but he did want to emphasize to the community that the family was very peaceful. I went to their home to speak to them. They were all gathered around eating and, and talking. The curfew that is scheduled here in Roxborough is in effect until 6 in the morning tomorrow. Then it is scheduled to be in effect again from 7 p.m. tomorrow night until 6 in the morning again on Thursday. Live in Roxborough, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.